guys, it's Charlie. I hope you're all well. So, today I'm just testing out my new camera. This is the camera that I'm going to be filming on in the new year. This is my HD camera. Um, so, what I thought I'd do today is a little bookshelf tour, just like the first part. Because, um, obviously, if I did it all in one part, it would take far too long. But, um, yeah, so I thought I'd do this, and then you guys can leave your comments down below and tell me what you think of the quality of this video. Um... I mean, so this is my first time actually recording with it, so, um, yeah, I am still trying to get used to it, so it's a bit shaky, whatever, that's my fault. Also, the lighting is so bad, I've got, like, two lights on and my curtains open, and it's so dark because it's winter, which is why I've put a little torch up there, um, <laughs> that you can see. So, yeah, let's get on with it. So, um, I took, just took one book off the shelf so that I could move them about a bit more easy, because it was quite tightly packed, and that was... Um, Heart Shaped Bruise by Tanya Byrne. You've already seen that in my haul recently, so I didn't need to show that again, really. And then up the top here, I've got my Harry Potter box set, which is the adult covers, I think. Um, and it's all of the books. And then, which I haven't actually yet read. And then up there, I've got my Katie Piper books. I've spoke about Katie Piper before. She is my inspiration. She's amazing. Then I've got my Walking Dead compendium which I'm addicted to at the moment, I can't wait to get the second compendium. Then I've got my two Kat Von D books, for those of you who don't know who Kat Von D is, she's an American tattoo artist and I love her, she's amazing. Um, then I've got the Vintage Tea Party book and How to Make Jewellery by Tatty Divine, because I like to make things and stuff and that's just kind of recipes and jewellery and all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm not, <laughs> you'll notice I'm not reaching up any there to show you the covers, it's because I can't reach. Um, <laughs> I'm sh such a short ass. I had to get my dad to put them up here for me, but yeah, anyway. Um, then up here I have got my Hugo Cabaret and Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick books, with beautiful spines, you can't see one of them because it's too dark, but. Then I've got my John Green box set, which I showed you in a recent haul, and that has got Looking for Alaska, An Abundance of Catherine's, Paper Towns and The Fault in Our Stars and then I've got my Beautiful Darkness box set which again you can't really see let me shine that on it um, which has got Beautiful Darkness and Beautiful Chaos one of them is missing which is Beautiful Creatures and it's in my To Be Read um, shelf so that's the first shelf I hope I'm not rushing this too much I'm just like I said this is just a test I'll probably do another better bookshelf tour in the new year but this is just a test so um, and then down here, I've got um, I Hunt Killers by Barry Liger. Um, then I've got Shattered Souls by Mary Lindsay. And A Just in Blood by Kendra Blake. Girl of Nightmares by Kendra Blake. Mask of the Red Death by Bethany Griffin, which I might read next, actually, because I've wanted to read this for a while now, so I'll probably read that next. Then I've got Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Suzanne Denard, which I also might read next because I know that Sue Morrow loved this one, so I'm very excited for that. Then I've got Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Can't wait for the sequel of that. Then I've got Talking Pictures by Ransom Riggs. That is such an incredible book. It's like all photographs that he's bought from car boots that people have wrote messages on the back and they tell stories and stuff it's sad and like amazing at the same time but yeah then I've got the book of skulls which is just different pictures of skulls because I love skulls then I have Long Lankin by Lindsay Barraclough then I've got The Ghost of Greylock by Dan Poblocki and The Unquiet by Jasmine oh no what does that say J Janine Garcia, if you've read that, let me know what you think because I keep hearing mixed reviews and I keep going to read it and then I see one that says, oh, it's really, it's not very good at all. But I really want to read it, so let me know if you've read that. Um, then I have got The Girl Who Would Speak for the Dead by Paul Elwert. Um, Frost by Mariana Bayer. Dark Companion by... Um, Marta Acosta um, The Vicious Deep by Zoraida Cordova I'm going to have to move this now so I hope it doesn't go too dark um, Then I've got oh, uh, Lies Beneath by Anne Greenwood 
brown, I think. Um, then I've got Tempest by Julie Coss. <clears throat> um, the Obsidian Blade by um, Pete Cal Houtman. Then I've got Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. And Sweetly by Jackson Pierce. Then Peculiars by Stefan Barkman. The Land of Stories A Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. And Seraphina by something Hartman. Um, I'll quickly show you those covers, but it's kind of dark, that's why I didn't really show you them. But um, Sweetly, The Peculiars. The Land of Stories and Seraphina by Rachel Hartman, which I know Amelia from Amelia47242 um, has just finished reading and she said it was amazing. So, yeah. Um, then on my next shelf and the final shelf that I'm going to show today, um, let me just move these. Um, I've got. They're packed so tightly on my shelf, it's ridiculous. Um, so I've got um, Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick and Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. Silence by Becca Fitzpatrick and I haven't got Finale yet but hopefully I'll have that soon. Then I've got The Forsaken by Lisa M. Stassi. Um, Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles. Um... Amelia Ann is Dead and Gone by, who is that by? Cat Rosenfield? Cat Rosenfield? Yeah. Um, Elixir by Hilary Duff. You can't read that one very well, but. Because when I pull one out, they all come. Then I've got You Against Me by Jenny Downham, which is another one that I want to read soon. Uh, me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, which I spoke about before and I love. Um, Freaks and Revelations by Davida Wills Herwin. Uh, Jodie Pickle and Samantha Van Leer's Between the Lines, which I haven't read yet, and I've heard mixed reviews about that as well. Then I've got The Street Cat Named Bob, which is kind of autobiographical.